Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of probabilities, specifically simple probabilities and how we can solve them, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a pretty basic problem here. Marco is rolling a die 12 times, and then recorded below are the results. So a die has 6 faces, 1 through 6, and these are the rolls that he got. Now, this is a simple probability simply because there's only one thing that he is doing at a time. He is rolling one die. He's not rolling two and trying to find two different answers. That would be a compound probability. This is a simple probability. And if we were looking at our sample space, which is not what they gave us, they gave us the experimental data. Well, sample space is simply a list of all the different the possibilities of what he could have gotten, right? And so we know that there are six possibilities, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if we wanted to look at just pure odds, well, if he rolled it 12 times, then he would have gotten everything twice, right? Because we would just count by sixes and we'd say, all right, well, then in our probability, he probably would have gotten everything twice, but that's not what happened. So we're not going to use the sample space. We're going to use our experimental data. It was really close, but you notice that he never rolled a six. Ended up rolling a five four times. So that's what ends up happening. It's the same thing like if you're flipping a coin ten times, you should get five heads and five tails. But sometimes it doesn't work out like that. So let's look at the probability that his next roll will be a five. And we're going to use this experimental data because it says right here, based on these results, we're not going to look at our sample space of, well, he should theoretically get two fives out of 12 rolls. So what are we going to look at? Well, we're going to look at our chances of a five. Right, so chances of a five over our uh, total. So how many fives did he get? Well, he got four fives. And then how many rolls did he have? Well, he had 12 rolls. So he had four fives out of 12 rolls. So our probability is four out of 12 based off of these results. Now, obviously, we're going to simplify this, so let's... Go ahead and at least divide both of these by four. And so we're going to get one third. So this is our probability that he would get a five next time rather than a one sixth, which is what we should get if we're looking at our sample space. He's going to end up getting a one third probability simply because he rolled a lot of fives the first time. Let's look at another example. So this time, we have Jeremy. He's going to the grocery store, and he's going to see several different types of soup. So we're not rolling with a die this time. And we've got chicken noodle. There's six of them, tomato, beef stew, minestrone, and clam chowder. So if he were to randomly pick one soup, so that's where we're going to get our simple probability because we're just looking for one outcome, one soup out of all of these, what is the probability that it would be tomato? All right, so... We need to see our probability is going to be a simple fraction here. Tomato soup over our total. So tomato, we've got four. And let's go ahead and add this up to see what our total is going to be. Six and four make 10. Seven and three make another 10. That's 20 at the five, 25. All right, so we've got four out of 25. You cannot reduce that, but sometimes you might be asked to show your probability not in a fraction, but in a decimal or percent. So even though this is our probability, you might be asked to change that. So let's convert that real quick. So we've got two options for converting this, remember? We can always divide up, right? 25 goes into 4. And if we want to do that, we could say, well, 25 does not go into 4 but we can at least put a decimal, get a zero. 25 goes into 40 once. It's going to be 25. And that is going to be 15. Let's add another zero, and that's going to be 6. So 16, 0 0.16, or that equals 16%. Or another way would be just to multiply both sets top and bottom by 4, and you're going to get 16 over 100, or 16%.